All right, let's head back to the manor. Aren't we in the manor? Let's talk to uh, let's talk to our good old boy here. Inspector Chumley and Madam have already retired for the night. Ramon is likely off to the cafe. You've had a very hard day, Professor. Do try to get some rest. Good night, sir. All right, so I'm gonna guess we need to go to the inn. We need to go to the inn. I wonder if we really did just mistake what we saw in the street. Nah, it looks pretty solid. No, I'm certain that it was Ramon. When we saw him, there wasn't the slightest hint of life in him. He may have lost consciousness, but how odd that he should return healthy as can be an hour later. Stranger still is the fact that he has no happens he seems to have no memory of what we saw happen to him. It's so peculiar. Plus, Ramon wasn't even the first. Lots of people seem to have the same experience. Any other villager would be in a panic over something like this, but Saint Mystere, well, it's peculiar, that's all. There is something peculiar about this whole town. Yes, in most places, no one would stand for this, but we've seen that Saint Mystere is anything but normal. All right, we got Ramon's mystery on our list of mis uh, memory on our list of mysteries. All right, so the find a star puzzle went to Granny's shack and uh, the make a rectangle puzzle, which we did not see at all. Dope. Uh, Beatrice, let's see. Beatrice's voice. Oh, that's the woman that likes. She has a crust on uh, Professor Layton. Yes, yes. Don't you worry. I'll let him know. Oh, hello there. There was a phone call for you. It was from an Inspector Chis something or other. From Inspector Chumley? Chel, Chum, Chum. I've been saying his name wrong my entire life. Chell me. Chell me is his name. Okay. He just have he just kept saying that it was urgent and that you should meet him at Reinhold Manor at once. He probably wants to talk about what happened yesterday. Maybe so. We won't know until we get there though. Come on, Luke. Let's see. Let's head over to the manor. Let's head on over to the manor. Everybody's out today. Everybody's out today. <laughs> Looks like you fellows are getting used to St. Mystere. But stay sharp. Believe you me. You'll be buried in all sorts of different pu difficult puzzles before you can shout Stotch and Scarfin. By now, I'm sure you've realized that you can retry the puzzles you failed to solve, eh? However, have you noticed how some puzzles just seem to vanish before you can get back to them? That's right. You see... That's the way it is with some things in life. Once they're gone, they're gone. For good. But rest at ease, you two. Those puzzles you thought had vanished have merely moved elsewhere. You must seek out Granny Riddleton's shack. It's a strange old building, so it should be easy enough to spot. But don't get sloppy just because you know how to retry puzzles now. There's no horror and laziness. Now that you've got the lowdown on puzzles in town, let me throw a sharp puzzle your way to keep you sharp. this man all right this is the lazy guard it's worth 30 picarats all right let's see the local museum has an exhibit that spans nine rooms as shown in the diagram below the entrance to the complex is marked by a and the exit is marked by b the security guard on duty is a bit of a loafer and wants to walk to each room wants to walk each room of the exhibit while turning as few times as possible. What is the fewest number of turns he can make while still visiting every room? As an example, the diagram below shows a course that involves six turns. Okay. So this is one turn. Let's see. This is one turn. This is two, three, four, five, and six to leave. Now he needs to enter through this room and exit from this room. Uh, as we went over before, uh, in several puzzles, when it's when every entrance, every vector, I should say, has an even amount of points, 
it's possible to exit. It's possible to make a, a what's complete what's considered a circuit. Uh, so the circuit would be with a line closing that up, like like that. So let's see. We can go. We need him to enter here and leave here. So let's see. I'm gonna put the arrow this way. So just so just so it's clear. We need to go into every room and turn the least amount of times. So we have one. This is the same thing, just flipped around in it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's the same thing. So let's see. Let's see what we got. I think that's it, isn't it? At least amount of times. I think it can't get any lower than that, can it? We go here. Yes, it, it can't get any lower. If we go through every room, if we enter here, leave here. Why is this? My qu only question is, why is this door open here? Why is that door open? Or why is this wall open, I should say? You want to turn as few times as possible? It's time to blow some hints, boy. First off, pay no mind to the simple path shown on the screen. Here's an additional hint for you. Oh, boy. Nowhere within the problem does it say that the guard can only enter each room once. Okay. Got it. Finally. We finally, ladies and gentlemen... I have no idea how long this is right now, but we finally got a first hint that helps. So he can go in any room more than once. Yeah, he can go back through any room. Okay. So then we have one. Two. I'm sorry, that's one. This is one turn. Let's see, we want to go, we want to find a path that's at least less than six turns. At least less than six turns. What if one, two, three, four, no, because five and six is still... One, two, three, four, five. Shoot, it's still six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's still six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six. I don't think it could be done any less than six. Let's blow a hint. Let's blow a hint. Has the layout of the room in the simple path shown make you feel like all your turns have to be 90 degrees? Okay. The puzzle wants you to find... It means movement will always be a straight line, but the angle... Okay. Okay. So it does have to be a straight line. Okay. That's why this door is here. That's why this door is here. One... Two, three, four. I'm still getting six. I'm in fact getting seven now. <laughs> okay. So let's see. How about we do this? We go in through this door. It's a straight line. It's kind of, it's kind of, don't play with me. It's one. Two, three, because it's, it's not a straight line once I start uh, going down here. Four, five. I got five. Five is the lowest that I have. I'm going five. I'm saying five. That should do it. 
Nope. So we go less than six, so we go four. Give it another shot. The puzzle shows you an example on purpose. Sometimes seeing an example keeps people from thinking creatively. Blah, blah, blah. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm saying five. I'm sorry. I'm saying four. I'm saying four. We'll go four. Luke, here's my answer. All right. We're going six. We're going six. How embarrassing. Six is the lowest. This game is once again just just an asshole. What's the fewest number of turns he can make? I'm still visiting every room. One. And now we, we've gone in five rooms there. Two. No, sorry. That's one turn. That's only one turn. And now we've gone in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rooms. Two. Here's three and out. Three. Three is the answer. There we go. No? Give me the answer, Layton. Oh, how embarrassing. Just give me the answer. It's either four or six. It's either four or six. Stop playing with me. It's six. The answer is six. I suppose I thought wrong. The answer is six. Six. Six is the correct answer. Luke, here's my answer. Is it two? Ah, uh, I suppose I thought wrong. It can't be one. There's no way in hell it's one. And I don't want to hear that. There's no way it's one. It can't be anything more than six because this diagram proves that it can be done in six. There we go. Okay. I'm putting in six. We're moving on. We're moving on. We're putting it six. Let you do it. Okay. What did I read wrong? I'm ashamed. What did I read wrong? <sighs> Pay them on to simple man. Here's an additional hint. Nowhere within the problem does it say the guard can only enter each room once. It's okay for your path to move back through a previously visited room. The puzzle wants you to find the solution with the fewest number of turns. That means the moon will always be a straight line, but the angle. There's no reason the guard should have to... There's no reason the guard should have to enter the exhibit at an angle parallel to the room. Consider a path that starts with the guard entering from a 45 degree angle. Don't forget. Yeah. I'm lost here. I'm lost on this one. Because that's still a turn, right? Fewest number of turns. Not going in the same direction is still a turn. So if we go. Straight line. If we go straight line. Let me see. Let me let me get a magic card real quick. Straight line. Yeah, I can go from the entrance all the way to the bottom right without hitting a wall. Let me see if I can trace this. I can go on this line here. Yeah, straight line, you know, roughly. And it take me it take me down to right about here. I can come up I can come up here. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rooms done. And I just need to go through this room here. 
this room here and out the door. So I can do that. That's one turn. Here's two. And I can come through here. Roughly, roughly. Okay, so one, I'm sorry, it's not a turn. This is a turn here, that's one. This is a turn here, that's two. This is a turn that's three and out the door. Didn't I do three? I could have sworn I've done three already. That should do it. Okay, what oh. is the answer? Because oh, I feel as though, I feel as though I've done every possible number. Let's try six, and after this, we're moving on. We're moving on. That should do it. Okay. Uh, I suppose I thought wrong. The only logical number left is zero. And I'm going to be mad if it's not counting. 45 degree angle turns as turns. There we go. Nope, moving on. We're moving on. Out of time. Out of time for Layton. Hey, you really can't solve this puzzle? What'd I say about staying sharp, eh? You can't give up now. This video was part of a stream. If you want to catch our streams live, make sure you subscribe to AltPlay as well as turn on notifications and follow at the AltPlay on Twitter. That way you can stay up to date on all changes.